I got it. Okay. They're grabbing something. They're bringing something to. Is it for me? The island. Is it for me? Here he comes. It's a treasure chest. Treasure oh, chest. Oh, welcome to Plunder Rapids. Oh my gosh, they freaked out. Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So, Reaper's Hideout is an island that has been here since the launch of the game, that was originally used as a quest hub for the Hungering Deep campaign. Since then, a lot has changed, but there is a couple of things that have remained the same for a long time. Let's talk about that. So for those who don't know, let me start off by introducing you to this lady. You might refer to her as the Masked Stranger, but her actual name is Wanda. This was confirmed a couple of patches ago, and for those who want to know who Wanda is, I've done many videos on her in the past. Too many, in fact. But as a summary, she was a blacksmith from Golden Sands who was cursed by the Burning Blade, Flameheart Senior's ship. She made the cursed cannibals, turned into a skeleton, and then disappeared. But now she's back, still pretending like none of us have figured it out. Nobody knows where she went, but I suspect she went on holiday in the game or I and put on a whole load of weight. Since her return, Wanda has been searching for all manner of things as seen in her paintings dotted around the island. But the only thing she seems persistent in finding is a goblet, or chalice. In the book Tales from the Sea of Thieves, we learnt that Captain Flameheart's son was stranded on an island and was lured into a cave system where he found a chalice, where him and his crew drank from, turning them all into skeletons. He was lured by the character only known as the Captain. The Captain was a former captain of the Burning Blade and was stranded there by Flameheart Senior. Now it seems to me like Wanda has been searching for this chalice. That much is not confirmed, but it seems to make sense. Or possibly even trying to recreate one for her own use. Which by the way is further proof that the Flameheart we are dealing with is Senior. If it was Junior he'd merely just give it to her. But let's not go into that. Even though I'm right. She had us looking for it in the Seabound Soul Tall Tale by retrieving artifacts found within the Devil's Roar, left by the Ashen Dragon crew. But these obviously weren't the correct ones, as she still appears to be looking for it. Even her new sigil, which bears the symbol for the skeleton word of Chalice, and the keystone surrounding her also bear this symbol alongside the words Pirates for All Eternity. So it's pretty obvious that she's looking for this chalice or trying to create her own so that she can raise her own undead army. When this island first started to show signs of life after the Hungering Deep, Rare toyed with us with a few things. Firstly, a hole that appeared out of nowhere, a strange grave with glowing flowers, and a teepee with a Hungering Deep drum and a picture of Merrick and Derek, father and son. This sent the community on a huge speculation spree of what this could all mean. The biggest discovery was the flowers at the gravesite, which glowed at night. They were in the shape of the star constellation from the Stars of Thief Tall Tale Journal, the constellation of the Great Warrior. A pretty awesome find, but that just left more room for speculation. But it has come to my belief that this entire area outside of the structure itself has been nothing more than clues rather than hints to the arrival of multiple storylines. These clues have been put in place to not only throw us off, but also begin to make sense when you look at them correctly. First of all, the warrior symbol reads, thirsts for war, still lives on. The arrival of a warrior that thirsts for war, yet still lives on. Hmm. Secondly, a TP with an old drum from the very first expansion, which was a recent award, yes, but also signifies the past or past storylines, and a picture of a father and son who seemingly have a similar relationship to that of Flameheart Junior and Senior. But more importantly is the star constellation for the warrior. Notice anything familiar about it? Well, let me show you.
that's it for today folks, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video then please hit that like button, and if you really like the video please hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell so you're always notified when I upload. And if you're looking for ways to support me please head over to my Patreon page where I offer tiers that give you perks for your support, link is in the pinned comments below. Until next time, take care of yourself and happy sailing, bye bye.